When you're leaving instructions for someone on how to use your spreadsheet, a really useful technique is to screenshot some instructions and then have them pop up on Hover. It's really easy. I'll show you quickly. Let's go. This is the concept. I just want to be able to have somebody hover and it gives them instructions about what they're meant to do. So what you do, you get your file set up the way you want it, you the, the picture laid out, and then Windows key, Shift and S. Okay, Windows Shift S. That should bring up the screen snipping option and you can highlight this, okay? Whatever you need to do. If you can't remember Windows Shift S, here it is, see, so you get the little snippet pop up and I can then save this. Uh, let's save this into my temps. Okay, so there we go, that's saved. If you have can't remember Windows Shift S or you want to have a shortcut to that, easy, go to PRT, go for use the print screen, okay, click on that. And then there's a little toggle, use the print screen button to open snipping, turn that on, okay. And then when you type, press the print screen button on your keyboard, the screen snipping pops up, okay, great, awesome. I'm just gonna escape out of that. Right, how do we add this? How do we add this to a, a comment? Well, you just pick a cell, right click, and go to new note, okay, what used to be called comments. And you get this boring old, you know, item. Get rid of the text and the trick. Right click on the edge here and say format comment. And then the next spot you go to is colors and lines and then color and then fill effects. And then to picture and you're there, okay? So now you say select picture, browse, here we go, screenshot, there it is, lock the aspect ratio, I don't really want to rotate it at any point, and I click OK and OK, and there you have it, on hover, a little screenshot. You can even be a bit fancy, right? Check this out, if I um, edit the note and I click on the edge of it again, click in, click out, there we go. If you have added the change shape icon, here, I can actually change the shape. I could put a little curl on it. There we go, see there's a little curl. Or I could change it to a, I don't know, a box like this, or whatever you want. Okay, some sort of weird shapes and things. You can add all sorts of good things. How do you get that little icon? Well, the simplest way I found is to go insert uh, shape and draw a little shape, okay? And then your shape format box pops up or menu pops up and there's an edit shape option here. You can right click on that and add it to your quick access toolbar and that'll give you this little icon. So there we go. Hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think. Um, please tell people about this channel and I'll catch you later.